So today, hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Um, so I launched my new book, and it's called How to Draw and Paint Botanicals and Flowers. It's been about three and a half months of work where I've been drawing and illustrating over and over and over different several flowers that I can think of. And then um, I asked all of you what I should incorporate into this book as far as a flower goes, and you gave me wonderful suggestions, and I put them all in here. Or I chose 30, actually. And I chose 30 flowers and put them all in here where I illustrate them and then I go into the painting process. So it's one of my favorite things when I grew up. I actually used how to draw books all the time. One of the very first things I learned in, in studio art classes, they brought out how to uh, draw sheets and it was like a dolphin, which was really cool and it taught me how to use shapes in order to make the subject. And I remember the dolphin was incorporating different ovals. When I got down to uh, the last parts of it where I just incorporated the shapes into like the actual details of the dolphin, the dolphin happened and it was like the best thing ever. That's how I learned how to draw in the very first place. So like, so I wanted to um, do my own version of a how-to sheet and then it just like blew up into a how-to book where I incorporate different step-by-step uh, -step drawings. As you can see, this is uh, just like a wildflower right here. This is actually a, a daisy and I just, I incorporate different shapes into a um, step-by-step process of how to create the flower. And the one thing that I want to do with this book that's different from the others is actually show the process of not just illustrating them, but what you would do to paint them as well. So I, I show you the process of how I would draw a daisy. And then over here, I show you the process of how I would actually paint it with wash paint. And I think this is something that's very different in the world right now where every how-to book that I've had, it's always been illustrating and not very much painting out there because I think it's such a tedious process to make. I wanted to do this in order to show you the difference on how uh, illustrating and painting are so very different. You know, I show you the different process. This is one of my favorite types of flowers. It's a cosmos and um, I use my favorite color pink over here. But I just show you the process of creating the different shapes um, to get a cosmos flower. And you don't have to be completely accurate with it, but you can use it as a guide or inspiration to make your own flower. And then once you do create your flower with a drawing, you can, you can either ink it and have it just there for yourself, frame it, give it to a friend, or you can go into the next step-by-step -step process, grab your gouache paints, and actually follow along with this guy and paint over what you just drew. In the beginning of the book, I do very easy, whimsical doodles where, you know, I show you how to just quickly draw like a little doodle. And then it goes into like what you would paint for that similar doodle because they are different. And then as the book goes along, it does get a little bit harder where these are like some standing poppies. Um, and then like I have a detailed poppy back here. So this is more of like a whimsical style where you can draw it. And then in the back of the book, I get a little bit more detailed. So here's the poppy um, with a little bit more detail. And I show you what colors, I list out what colors I like to use for the poppy. I give you a little rundown of what I did. And I always end it with a little bit of a tip. The very first page, I do a step-by-step -step process of how I actually drew it. On the next two pages, I show you a breakdown of like how I painted over that drawing. And it just gives you a breakdown of how to paint it. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's something that can be helpful or inspiring to you to create different flowers. I have... This one is a ranunculus. Um, this is my mom's favorite flower, so I incorporated it in the book. This is a com columbine. And I have just different styles of flowers that give you different techniques that you'll learn over the course of the book. And hopefully, like, it gives you something, whether you take it and run with it doing illustrative styles and inkings and maybe like future tattoos or whatever, like then that's perfect. That's what the book is intended for. It's not just drawing and painting, it's for both. So if you wanted to pick it up and see how, how to draw a flower, then this book is perfect for that. It's just an inspiring book that you can like keep with you and take wherever you go. It's a cool coffee table book. It's an artist book. 
Um, I've put a lot of time and painting into this book where I'm just super proud of it. So uh, be sure to pick it up if you can. I really hope that this book brings some inspiration to you all and that you pick it up on Amazon and just all become future floralists, you know, botanical artists because um, that's what's so inspiring to me. Um, is when I see your works, it keeps me going and it just really puts a smile on my face. So again, it's uh, How to Draw and Paint Botanicals and Flowers. It's available on Amazon. I hope you enjoy this book. It's coming from my heart and deep down and everything that I've worked on for the last three and a half months and my whole life as a flower artist. Thank you again. Um, I have a link below, so you can uh, click on that link and it'll take you directly to the Amazon shop where you can purchase it. Or you can go to VolterDesignCo.com and you can find a link to the book as well. So thank you very much and I hope you pick it up.